Today we're talking about uh, what it's like being an introvert inside of an extrovert's calling. Here we go. <laughs> Last week was a little bit insane. There was um, an event that I wanted to speak at for a long time and got invited about six or seven months ago. Dave and I jumped in a plane, flew out there to LA, and then that night we got the Warrior event and so we decided to sneak in. Warrior was insane, 600 men, just like insane. Everyone dressed in black and it was really, really cool because I was teaching a lot of the Expert Secrets book stuff, but as I was teaching it to them, I was also showing how Garrett had done it to create the Warrior movement. It was really kind of cool big. Here's this piece of it. Here's how I did it. Here's what Garrett's doing. Here's what you need to do. And then kind of go through the whole thing. So I'm on stage, hundreds of people, everyone's cheering. It's like, I love that. Like that's me as Russell the extrovert, right? I love that my calling in life and in business is like, requires me to do that and be good at that, right? Cause I got to stand on stage for all these people and entertain and inspire and hopefully give them the tools they need to be able to move forward. But a lot of people don't know is that's not natural to me. I'm not naturally very extroverted. In fact, my whole entire life up until yeah, probably 10 years ago when I kind of started, this started into this business before I learned, realized I had to start learning how to speak and talk. But I was super introverted. In fact, still am very, very introverted. But when I'm in those situations, like I'm at an event and I'm on stage, like I just, it comes out of me. And I just, I, I love it. Like I really, really enjoy it. But it's, it's funny because Dave, who's there at all these events, like he told me, he's like, you're on stage, you're like, you're in present and you're like doing your thing and you're like loving it and then you get off stage and someone come and ask you a question and you're just like shrinking this weird introverted like you can tell like I'm not comfortable in that kind of a situation. And then it's funny, so I got home, we flew, we took Uber home, flew home, we got back to my house about midnight and the next morning at uh, like eight o'clock we had this big Christmas party that my wife is in charge of. And so we get there and there's, you know, all the entire church, all these people and all this stuff. And it was just interesting because I come in and totally like introverted Russell took over like, not come from that situation. I kind of sat down on the table with my kids and there's all these amazing uh, people that go to church with us that I know who they are, I like them, like I like them a lot. And there's such a bunch of guys that I really think are just awesome. And it's so weird how like, how much fear I have to go and just go say hi to them. Like it's, uh, like I hate it about, that's one thing I really frustrates me about myself because um, I just remember sitting there the whole Christmas party looking around, seeing all these amazing people and like people that I'm fascinated by. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go talk to that person and I'm gonna go ask them a question. I wanna do whatever and just, um, honestly, I have so much fear, all this fear that keeps me from going and just like going and saying hi and just going and talking to them. And even when they do come say hi to me or whatever, I'm really good at carrying on a conversation when people come and ask me questions, you know? But when it's like we're on neutral ground, they don't really know much about me or whatever, it, I really struggle. Like, I'm just not as good at that. Anyways, it's just, it's just fascinating. It was just a, the contrast of like the night before I was on stage from all these people and like the next day I'm around people that live near me and I can't even like... Anyway, that's a little glimpse of what it looked like to be an introvert in an extrovert's position or calling. So unless you think that I've got everything put together, I still get scared to death. Don't feel bad if you are like, I'm too introvert, I'm never gonna be good at this business. I don't dare talk to people. Like, I get that. Like it my my thoughts are like it's really hard to do like face-to-face one-on-one selling. I can stand up for a room of a thousand people or 5,000 people and sell and extrovert in me is like, yes, this is gonna be awesome, I'll step on stage, I'll see, speak, I'll sell. Like, it was so much fun and then afterwards in the hallway when they wanna ask me questions when I'm like, I get all awkward and weird. <laughs> oh man, well, hopefully someday I figure it out. Hope it helps those introverts out here to understand how it is that you can still um, succeed in the extrovert's world. I'm doing this stuff, doing the expert secret stuff, putting your voice out there, putting your message out there. Um, because when all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is the impact you have on people's lives. So do it, it's worth it. And at first, you're not gonna be very good, but if you're consistent with it, you get better and better and better.